conversations with friends and stuff, it's like I'm building a sewer. It always goes down in a weird way. If we want to see change, then we have to do things differently. I look forward to working together to drive the change we all want to see. The team we've got working uh, here at Dorman Street is quite diverse. We've got uh, three female site engineers, so yeah, it's 50-50 split of men and women, which is quite unique for the construction industry. It's completely different to the day when I first started. We've got about five to six metres of archaeology to take down till we hit the natural deposits. One's a William III penny. It's great for any young people coming into the game. I think the health and safety at Tideway is way up above the rest. We established quite a good relationship with the locals and that. There is a monthly engagement with the community to run through the questions and concerns. The cut-head is the main business end of the TBM. It's the piece that will be in contact with the ground at all times. The lads down the hall are preparing the, the shaft bottom for us. We're preparing the machines. We'll drop them down in the next month. This is a huge milestone for the Tideway project. This is what all of our work today has been building towards. In many respects, this has been two and a half years in the planning. We put them on these movable units known as SPMTs and brought them from their location by the office into the shed behind me where they're now being prepared for their launch. As you can see, Ursula just behind me, the plan is to take her into the shed, do our test lift, get her all ready. We will lift the gantry up over the TBM, lower it back down, connect it up, test lift, skid it out into the shaft. Given that it's a thousand ton lift, it needs some heavy duty lifting equipment. The machine we're using is called a strand jack and it's essentially clamped in four locations so you've got that extra measure of security and safety. From there, over about eight hours or so, it's going to be lowered very, very slowly to the bottom of that 53 meter deep shaft and then jack into position into the tunnel added. The Eagle has landed. We've got the first of our TBMs just touching down in the base of our shaft at Curling Street. We know that we're really getting serious now about the start of the tunnelling operations. There's almost 25 kilometres of tunnel to be built. Just to be here to see the start of that today is really exciting. With two TBMs on site and ready to launch, there's been a lot more interest in the project. Only today we had BBC Breakfast down filming live from inside the shed with Ursula behind them. It's a great milestone and I'm really proud of what we've achieved today. It's a good team and we're really happy working together. Let's get tunneling. <laughs>